G'day everyone, this video is going to be a real quick one. A lot of people have been asking me to redo a video for the C58 since they increased the recoil recently. So we're going to have a look at that today. I'm going to go through and work out the anti-recoil values on Progressive. You cannot copy the exact values that I end up working out for the weapon and then expect those to work the same for you. But you can follow this process that I use with Progressive Anti-Recoil to find the values. So let's have a look at uh, the recoil now. Oh god, that guy's right behind me. He's wants that supply one, mate. Yeah, good. He was going for that supply. All right, so it's still up and to the right slightly, and then over to the left. All right, so uh, we'll go into progressive. Make sure that's turned on. Now, if you watch these videos a lot, you'll know I like to start on 30 and 20, uh, but I'm going to go 40 and 30 for this one. I just know the recoil's been increased, so that's what I'm going to start with. 2,600 for the uh, horizontal or vertical time, sorry. Now it goes up and mainly to the left. Now I'm going to go horizontal end. I'm going to go 5, and I'll go 2,600 as well. Back out so this saves, and let's give that a test. I was sitting there pretty nice, but then it started to go up towards the end of the clip, and also to the left. So we'll go vertical end. It went up towards the end of the clip. Let's try 35. And it went to the right towards the end of the clip. So let's try maybe 8 on the horizontal end. Let's see. Alright, it's starting to go down now, so whatever values we have, a little bit too strong, so maybe we'll try 32, maybe 39 for that one, and pretty much went straight down. Might leave the horizontal for now, let's see if we can get it shooting kind of straight. I mean, there we go. Looks like it went up a little bit towards the end, so if you want to play around with the um, vertical end, 32, 33, you know, it might get a little bit tighter than that, but that's not going to be any issues there. I might put it on that, if anything, but we've gone from this to this in a couple of minutes, so it's quite easy to do. You can definitely still get it beaming, and when you're actually shooting at somebody as well, it's going to be a massive difference. So, yeah, there we go. Enemy precision <laughs> yeah, you see, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, so he moves around a little bit there, but again, you're not going to have any issues hitting people with that. If you want to play around with the vertical values and turn them, you know, one up, one down, or something like that, you can. As you can see, the values are still the same as before. I haven't secretly changed them on you. And there we go. So that's everything I wanted to go through for the video. Just a real quick update on the recoil. I'm not going to go through and show clips. You, you know what it's like. It beams. It's good. Just wanted to show it's still possible to work it out and get it shooting very nice with the uh, progressive anti-recoil and this grip. Cheers for watching. I'll see you next time.